Someone is recommending a fusion, what should I do? I've actually had three of my siblings come to me with this exact same question. And I want to give you that answer so that you can be equipped and make right decisions. There's a lot of things going through your mind. This is unfamiliar territory. You want to know, is this the right decision for me? Is it the right surgery? How long am I going to have to take off work? What's the recovery like? Am I going to need pain medication? All of these things are going through your head. I'm going to try to make this simple for you. When my brother and when my two sisters called me with the same question, hey, my surgeon says I might need a fusion, this is what I told them. The first step is recognizing where you are right now. Like, stop for a minute before you start making decisions. Just recognize where you are emotionally, psychologically. Are you in so much pain, discomfort, or dysfunction? Maybe your arm's not working or your leg is just in writhing pain, your foot is floppy, whatever it is. These are all common things that can happen. If you're there, you may be getting close to panic mode and People don't make good decisions when they're panicking or when they're in extreme pain. You might be hungry for a solution, hungry for relief of your pain, but you gotta pause for a minute and figure out what your choices are, what you need, and what is the right thing. I purposefully made this video concise and to the point. When you're considering surgery on your spine, what are the options? I can put them into three basic categories. One would be fusion surgery. Two would be decompression surgery, otherwise known as a laminectomy. That's generally focused on decompressing the nerves alone without changing the biomechanics or the motion mechanics of the spine. And the third option is artificial disc replacement. Artificial disc replacement is very, very different than fusion. The data on disc replacement is substantially better than fusion surgery. Fusion surgery usually involves taking the disc out, putting in a block of bone, maybe a plate and screws, to hold the disc in position while the bone heals. After a successful fusion, the joint no longer moves. Sometimes that helps with pain. Now, that doesn't sound natural, and if you had a problem with your knee or your elbow, you definitely wouldn't consider fusing that joint straight You'd have a hard time eating, you'd have a hard time walking if your knee or your elbow didn't, didn't bend anymore. Well, the spine is even more complicated because there's multiple, multiple joints and they're stacked on top of each other and they work together. So when one joint is fused, it doesn't, it doesn't act alone. It affects domino above and below that level. What is artificial disc replacement? It is very similar approach to the spine, which involves removing a disc and decompressing the nerves and or the spinal cord. And then instead of putting a block of bone where the joint was, we put in a motion preserving joint, usually a ball and socket type of joint, very similar to a hip replacement or a knee replacement. After a successful disc replacement, the disc continues to move and stress is not transferred to the adjacent levels the biggest win for artificial disc replacement is not only the short term, but it's the long term results. It's what is going to happen to my spine five years, 10 years from now. It's my sister being able to run uh, an Ironman five years after a two level cervical disc replacement. It's not having to go back to the spine surgeon over and over for another fusion or another fusion because the top level or the bottom level keeps on wearing out. If your surgeon only offers fusion surgery, it's very simple, you need another opinion. I'm not saying you might not need a fusion, you need a surgeon that is technically familiar and currently using disc replacement surgery and not just fusion surgery. This is hard for a consumer or a patient to get that kind of information because disc replacement surgery is done by many good surgeons. But having a good surgeon for fusion doesn't mean you necessarily are getting the ideal surgeon for disc replacement. And they may not offer you disc replacement 
because their comfort level and familiarity and volume of the procedure is lower than someone that is more familiar with it. If you're struggling to find a surgeon in your area that does artificial disc replacement and is serious about it, reach out to us. We're happy to provide a free online evaluation and image review.